it feel how does the dream of being in an olympic games feel ah uh, it's still very surreal i can't believe it but uh, i'm very excited to get to represent my country twice at two of the biggest events in the world 
<laughs> so what, what are you aiming for? Oh, of course, we're aiming for gold. Obviously, though, in my class, I'm class 10, so it's incredibly difficult. We've got the likes of Natalia Patika, uh, China Li Kuan, and of course, Brazil, Bruna. So um, I've got a big challenge ahead of me. But I figure if I aim for gold and I fall slightly short, I think I'll be pretty happy. Definitely. That's the attitude. Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> you all, always have to aim for the biggest. When you think of Spain, for the Spanish audience when they're, who are watching this, tell me, tell me what comes to your mind. Tell me three things that come to your mind. For example, you know, when we Spanish people think of Australia, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. what it comes to our mind, of course, is kangaroos. kangaroos. Uh -huh. It's, uh, you know, people surfing massive yeah. waves. Mm -hmm. And, and crazy Australian girls, of course. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, what, what, what comes to your mind? Well, you I've been to Spain last year. Oh, and to really? Barcelona, mm -hmm. And it was beautiful. It was mm -hmm. my favorite. Um, obviously, beach. She has to see Madrid. It's much cooler. <laughs> it's better. <laughs> <laughs> uh, definitely beach, sunshine, and amazing architecture. Very good. And Spanish boys are pretty all right too, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> also a lot of fun talking to you, you know, you have great energy and it's, it's, it's very nice uh, that we're gonna have a, such a good representative of the Paralympic world in the Olympics and we'll be following you every single point you do. So you better leave us in a very good position, Melissa. Oh, thank you. Okay, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>